you got you know uh, reset warnings register check for updates usual stuff um, you can manage you can do a virtual media manager um, preferences under here you can mess with a lot of different preferences and stuff like that but I definitely wouldn't mess with any of those if I were you so let's set up a new machine here uh, what I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to use Windows XP. I have a um, an ISO version on my computer, but you can also use a CD. So we'll call it XP Machine. You can pick uh, different operating systems: Windows, Linux, Solar, SB, uh, you know, all sorts of operating systems, and you can do everything from 3.1 to Windows 7. You can give it your uh, base memory size is a RAM. Uh, they say they recommend 192 megs. Uh, that's not enough in my book. I have 2 gigs and on 2 gigs I like to give it like 800 right around there personally. So let's see if this one like uh, 700. Okay, now you can use, you can use uh, create a new hard disk. Um, it'll do 10 megs or you can use an existing hard disk. We'll create a new one. Dynamically expanding storage is what you want to do. So as it needs more space, if it needs it, it, it can expand by itself. It'll give it 10, uh, 10 megabytes. It will store it in my virtual box, I guess. Okay, it's created that. Let's finish it here. And there's that. So let's go through the settings here real quick. Let's see how much time I got. Okay. Um, we don't want to mess with the name or anything like that. Clipboard bidirectional, that's fine. Okay, let's see. System. Okay. Processor. One CPU. Acceleration, that's fine. The display. It depends on how much RAM you want to give it. Hard disks, that's fine. You can mount a CD drive if you want to do that. Floppy drive, audio, network. I like to do bridged adapter. Uh, mainly because if you have an antivirus solution, if you go through a NAT or anything like that, or an internal network or anything, um, it can mess with the, uh, um, your antivirus can mess with your virtual machine, whatever you're doing on it. So we'll just leave that. We'll uh, go to abridged. You can do serial ports if you want to. USBs enabled, shared folders, that's fine. So let's start the machine here. Okay, you can see it says no bootable media found. Okay, so that's good. We'll power off the machine. We know that that's all working. So we'll go back to settings here. We'll go to CD drive. We'll mount the CD drive. And now you could put something in your CD drive. Or like I do, you can grab a... Um, CD image. So we can add the CD image. Give me one second here to find it. Okay, I'm back. I found the CD image. I have Win uh, XP Pro with Service Pack 3. We will select that image. As you can see, we'll boot from that image. You hit OK. You go to Start the Machine. That will take that off. The machine will start. And it will boot just like you're booting Windows XP setup from the CD. And from then on, you just install like you do Windows. You know, nothing's different. It's loading up everything um, just like you normally do when you install Windows on a clean PC. Uh, as you saw, I did it through a ISO. You can also, like I said, do it through a CD. Uh, let's uh, pause this machine for a second. You can also do a couple of things like take a snapshot. Um, a snapshot lets you go back in time if something's changed. So I use snapshots when I do my um, uh, malware tests. I have a clean snapshot. I infect the machine, you know, do this test and all that. And when I'm all done with it, I just snapshot back to a clean machine and I don't have to worry about 
having to reinstall or do any of that weird funky stuff. Um, you can take as many snapshots as you want. You can of course adjust your window size. Uh, you can do full screen mode. You can do you can mount your CD drives, uh, your floppy drives, network adapters, USB devices, all that type of stuff. Um, it's a pretty simple way to set up whatever you're doing here with it. You can also do it from right here from um, right from the little control panel that they have here. You can do different networking adapters and printers and you know your folders and um, well, that one doesn't work. But um, that's pretty much all you really need to know on how to set up a virtual machine. Um, it's not hard. It's uh, pretty easy to do. As you saw I did it in like five minutes. And uh, that's it for this video. I will uh, stop it right now and uh, upload it to uh, YouTube. Hope you guys like this quick little tour on how to set it up. It's uh, not as hard as you might think it is. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.